In this video, you'll learn how to use the powerful 48-channel mixer in your Motu Pro Audio interface. The mixer combines all live inputs connected to the interface, such as microphones, guitars, and keyboards, and mixes them directly to the main outs and headphone outs. You can also include computer playback channels in the mix. When performing live, you can use this as your primary stage mix with or without a computer. When working in the studio, this lets you monitor live inputs at all times while recording into your DAW or even when the computer is turned off. In both cases, on stage or in the studio, you can set up additional auxiliary monitor mixes for separate musicians, which they can control from their own smartphone, tablet, or laptop. For this video, I'm using the Motu 624, but it's all the same for any Motu Pro audio interface. First, let's launch the Motu Pro Audio Control app. If you need help with this step, visit motu.com forward slash pro audio and watch the getting started video. We're looking at the Motu Pro Audio Control app and we're viewing the device page. Go to the preset manager, click on manage presets, choose interface plus mixer and press the apply button. This gets the interface ready for both computer recording and playback as well as direct monitor mixing. We'll take a quick look at the routing page. You can see the analog and digital inputs of the 624 are routed directly to the computer for recording. Those same inputs have also been routed to the mix in section of the 624. On the top row, we can see the outputs returning from the computer. This preset sets up 14 outputs from the computer, which are then routed into the mixer. The mixer in the 624 is a stereo mixer with 14 auxiliary outputs, monitor output, group outputs, and direct channel outputs. In the Interface Plus Mixer preset, the main outs of the internal mixer are routed to the main outs of the 624. The monitor mix outs are routed to the phone's output on the 624. Okay, now let's take a look at the mixer itself. I can hide or show what I see in the mixer from this section on the left. If I click this button, I can show or hide all inputs with a single click. I'll start with no effects visible, and I'll display the mixer fader for the mic input. You can see the live input signal on the mic fader. If I open up the legend, I've got some additional options. For example, I can make the VU for the mic input pre or post. If the VU is pre-fader, I see the input signal even if the fader is down. If the VU is post-fader, the VU changes as I attenuate the input signal. I can name faders in the mixer. We'll call the first mic input Dave's mic. The mic input is routed to the main mix fader. If I unmute the main mix fader, you see VU activity, and that signal is now present at the main outs of the 624. I can double check the output routing of the main mix fader here. The monitor fader can serve multiple functions. The monitor fader can mirror any output pair from the mixer. It can be the solo destination. Right now the monitor fader is taking its input from signals sent to the main mix out. If we check the routing assignment at the top of the fader strip, we see the monitor fader is sending its signal to the phone's output. Let's display auxiliary outputs 1 and 2. The internal mixer has up to 14 separate aux sends, which can be used for separate monitor mixer or external effects sends. Aux outputs can be mono or stereo. I'll click this button to combine aux outputs 1 and 2 to a single stereo pair. I'll assign the outputs of the stereo aux mix to analog outputs 1 and 2 on the 624. I'll display the aux sends for the mixer. I can display a panner for the mono mic signal going to the stereo aux send. So now I can set up independent multiple mono or stereo monitor mixes. Groups are similar to auxes. Groups are stereo only. Typically, groups are used for submixes, although you could use them for additional monitor mixes. So for example, I'll display the guitar input faders and assign them to a group. I'll turn down the main out sends so the guitar signals don't go straight to the main outs. I can double click the fader to jump between fully attenuated or unity gain. The group can be sent to the aux outs and the main outs, and now I have a single fader to control the overall level of the guitars. The reverb module is similar to a group. As a matter of fact, if the actual reverb is bypassed, the reverb return can function as an additional group. 
Let's display the first two channels of return from the computer. I'll combine those two faders to become a single stereo pair. And now we have a single monitor mixer that allows us to mix live input signals with computer playback signals and send those signals as separate mixes to different outputs on the interface. We could also send mixes back into the computer for re-recording. To do this, I can use another aux mix and choose to computer as the aux mix destination. The last thing I'll show you is the aux mixing tab. The aux mixing tab shows just a single aux mix with its inputs, groups, and master aux fader output. There's even a button to view personal mix that hides everything in the browser except the selected aux mix. This means each musician can view and adjust their own personal monitor mix without disturbing overall routing, other monitor mixes, or the main output mix. In the next video, we'll explore how effects can be used inside the Motu Pro audio interface. Thanks for watching.